Welcome to another theory video. This is on CSEC IT. So I hope you learned something in the process. Let's go. You may think you know what a barcode reader does, or maybe you do. It has a bunch of bits like 10101011101 one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and all, uh, all the way down. I believe it's about 72 of them, maybe. And they put them in different um, categories and each, each um, lump will, will convert a number. So this will come with to like two, five, zero, zero, two. And what happens is that a laser kind of passes through this very quickly. Like it'd be like, okay, one, zero, one, the laser will go like one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero all the way down to the end. And then it goes beep because typically it's seen in a supermarket. But the point is, this is an input device. The barcode is input into a, guess what? Computer. OMR. What does this stand for? Optical Mark Reader. So when you go to school and you do a little multiple choice exam, they have a particular paper and they will tell you, make sure that you always shade properly and if you have to erase, erase it as cleanly as possible and then share the next answer because the optical mark reader's job is to look for if light could pass through, right so if you shade here and the light the light that's supposed to pass through tries to pass through and it realizes hey i can't pass through there that means that the answer is correct but if you shade here and the light tries to pass through here and it is able to to burst through that means that answer is wrong so that's how omr works so this little paper here will line up in the scanner It'll go through the scanner and then it'll tell you, hey, this person got 20 out of 30 because the light couldn't go through 20 of them. Optical mark reader. It looks for marks on the paper. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. That is like when you take your handwriting, like my crap of foot handwriting, like, hello. And then the computer will realize, oh, that is an H, that is an E, that is an L, that is an L, and that is an O. OCR, the, can, the goal is to take your handwriting. So people that use stylus, um, stylus-based devices and have pens and all that different stuff, it will try to make sense of your handwriting, but it doesn't really work that well. And if it's on a piece of paper, you pass it to the scanner and it should convert that paper into um, digital text. But some people's handwriting is so bad that it wouldn't really make that much sense. So you could try if you feel like it. MICR. This is an input device because it reads checks. At the bottom of every check is this thing in, in magnetic ink. If you ever get a check in your life, look at the bottom of it. You will see these kind of weird symbols here, and then you will see these kind of like weird numbers here. Yeah, that's um, that's magnetic ink. So this reader will read the magnetic ink to see if the check is valid or not. That's why people get check books. You can't just go and print a check just so and, and give it to somebody. It has to be done by this checkbook, and it's used in banks. But remember, it's magnetic ink and the reader reads it because it's... Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learn something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So... Um, 